<sighs> and these fucking studios gonna stop fucking with filmmakers and their visions. They don't learn. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Hellboy. Hellboy is a reboot. Um, a lot of people, of course, wanted the third movie from Del Toro and uh, Ron Perlman. And for some reason, it didn't happen. Um, I know there's a bunch of things probably why, and I know they were fighting for it, but they decided to go the reboot way and to make it, hey, let's make it into, you know, R-rated. Let's really get a fucking gritty goddamn Hellboy. So now you have Neil Marshall and David Harbour. David Harbour, of course, um, is on Stranger Things, you know, very likable dude. He just, you know, came up and now he's Hellboy. And uh, I mean, from the first images, people were like, holy shit, this is looking pretty damn good. Um, and then, of course, when the trailer started coming out, eh, you know, it started getting a little uh, iffy with some people. This also stars uh, Mila Jovovich and uh, Ian McShane, who's always a delight to see. And uh, this time she's playing the, uh, what is it? What did she play? The blood? I, forget, I always forget her exact. She's the blood queen. That's right. She's trying to uh, come back and, uh, you know, re revenge on to the world. And there's a bunch of demons and monsters that get into the, the way of Hellboy trying to, you know, stop her from doing that. Hellboy and his, um, and his group. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here. So what did I think of Hellboy? <gasps> oh, there's, it just... Like I said, studio involvement just... Fuck! This movie goes pretty extreme on both sides. That was this is what I was thinking about, you know, when I was thinking about this movie today and even yesterday. It goes pretty extreme. There are some really good things in this movie and some really bad things in this movie. Not a lot of in between. <laughs> there really isn't. Like, man, when it comes to the good stuff, there are some really good action sequences in here that just show up and they they just it goes and it's in your face. It's bloody. It's awesome. I mean, the sad thing is, and I'm not gonna no spoilers or anything like that, but the last scene of this movie. Best fucking, it was the best part of the whole movie. It really has nothing to do with the story. It just sets up the sequel because obviously they were going to do that. And I thought, holy shit, why couldn't the whole movie be this? It's a really great scene. Awesome scene. But there's other ones in there too. But there's just some really just scenes where you're going, wait, what? What the fuck? What the? Seriously, what are, where are they? What the fuck's going on? Dialogue is bad. They needed somebody to come in here and punch up the dialogue. It's really bad. Like, David Harbour is really good, okay? He gives a great performance. He's likable. It works. He totally is embodies the character. But the dialogue they give him just misses and misses and misses. There's so many times where he says something in response to something. I went, yep, yeah, that, that could have been funny, but it wasn't. They literally gave him, they literally gave him the line, I'm going to feel that in the morning. That cliche line! It's pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. And uh, Mila Jovovich, of course, she just overacts the shit out of her role. Uh, none of the supporting cast is really, eh, just, I don't know. Doesn't really work. I mean, Ian McShane, he's usually a delight, but he kind of overacts his role too. And then it's just, you could just really tell that the studio fucked with it. They cut out a lot of shit, and then they just replaced it with like, hey, we're just going to explain the absolute shit about everything that's going on right now. And it sucks because when there's really good things happening on screen, it's really good. You know, it's just like, it's... <laughs> and when I said in my first reaction, I'm like, man, it would have been great if like Rob Zombie directed this because man i mean he probably i mean i don't know if he would have had studio involvement probably but it's just i just thought about that because you had this music they're trying to attach music to it sometimes the music didn't work and i'm going if rob zombie would have done this he would have had the right music for what was going on some really creepy shit in this too really good makeup uh practical stuff was good but there's you know when it comes to the vfx this is a really low budget so you can actually see a little bit of shakiness there but it's not too bad, especially, you know, and I, and I was hoping there's a lot of things that do take place during the day and I'm going, eh, it would have been better at night. Overall, disappointment. Disappointment, but uh, what can you do? Um, so I'm not going to put it on the favorite wall of 2019 because, yeah, it just it didn't fully work. I wanted it to. And then, like I said, I mean, I knew like after seeing all the, the reviews and like I said, it's not as bad as people are making it. Don't listen to that. You know, who's this movie for? Well, it's for, well, Satanist? I mean, uh, they probably would get a kick out of it, but no. If you like the character, go see it. If you like the original movies, but you're, you know, totally 
Yeah, you, know, you have you're cynical about what they did, then maybe you shouldn't go see it. Or you could go see it and laugh your ass off and be like, see, see, see. But it's definitely missing a structure. They it seemed like they did not know what they wanted to do with it until that last scene. And then it was like, okay, you guys have it right here, but it's the end of the movie. There you go, guys. That's my review of Hellboy. Um, let me know if you saw it down below in the balls area and what you thought about it. Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my content. Follow me on all that social media stuff over there and visit the closet for shirts and stickers. All right, guys? I'll talk to you later.